Hello and welcome to Piano Shack with me, Woody. Thank you for tuning in. Now, Omnisphere, as you may know, has a special mode called Multi Mode, where you can combine up to eight different sounds into one massive sounding split and layer. And think about this, every sound in Omnisphere can be four different layers. So that's four oscillators. Then you can combine eight of those into a multi. And then you can start adding unison and dual oscillators to the layers. You end up with a sound with 60, 70, 80, hundreds of oscillators. Perhaps I haven't done the math, but these are mighty sounding sounds. And I'm looking forward to demonstrating some of my favorites for you right now that really did. Well, they didn't really do it, but they blew my mind metaphorically speaking. Let's get into it. Yeah, you see what I'm talking about? Hello, it's editor Woody here. I'm sorry to interrupt the broadcast, but there's something I just wanted to clarify for those of you that might be new to Omnisphere. So I'm in the editor here. If I'm just gonna jump up so I can explain what you're seeing on the screen here. So I realized when I was editing the video that I didn't really capture the best page. The Omnisphere user interface consists of tabs and pages. What I'm showing here in the main area is information about the first part in the multi. So the multi here has eight different parts and this page is showing information, an overview of the first part. What I really should have done is clicked on the multi tab and then I could have shown you all of the different parts that are making up the multi. So what I did afterwards during the edit is I went and grabbed screenshots showing how each of the multis is made up. And this one shows how the different parts here are distributed across the keyboard. So two different views. This one is showing just whatever happens to be the first part of the multi. This one is showing more an overview of the multi and how the different parts are stacked together. So yeah, that's what's going on there. Just as we're getting to the finale, I have fluffed up the notes, sorry. What a beautiful sound though. Yeah. Some of these multis are quite loud, so I've mapped this knob here on this fader to control the master volume, otherwise it will clip. And we don't want that.
bring in the choir. Yeah, pretty nice. At one time, I did have these faders mapped up so that I could control the level of each of the parts in the multi, but I've now overridden that so I can control the layers in the part or the patch. So yeah, I need to do a little bit of tweaking. So sorry if I'm not manipulating the sounds as much as I could do. It would be possible to map all of these faders and control the levels of the eight different patches that you can hear in each of the Omnisphere multis. But we'll save that for another video. I'm going to do a video actually where I describe how you can configure this Novation launch key to control many of the parameters in Omnisphere for live playing. So stay tuned for that. But let's move on to the next preset. I've actually mapped up. Yeah, this is nice. This is one of the very few synthesizers where I've been able to map up buttons on my MIDI keyboard to step up and down through the presets. So I don't even need to look at the synthesizer. I have no idea what we've got now. So let's play an A flat chord. Take a listen. Lucky dip. Oh. Beautiful. And these multis, as I said, are playing up to eight different sounds. They're called patches in Omnisphere. I'm still trying to figure out the terminology. Yeah, so a multi has eight different parts. Okay, it's a bit similar to the Roland terminology. Multi has eight different parts, and on each, on each part you can load a patch. And each patch can contain four layers, so incredibly deep. We're stacking up lots of oscillators here. And what I wanted to get to, uh, the point I wanted to get to, is that on my PC here, I don't see any glitching or anything at all. We have massive uh, synthesizer processing going on here, but the system is behaving quite nicely, even though I've got my... Uh, streaming software running here to capture the Omnisphere window and I'm running my DAW to capture the sound of my microphone and Omnisphere but I'm not having any issues with glitching or anything. So far so good. People do sometimes say that Omnisphere is a bit CPU hungry. But I haven't really noticed any ill effects yet anyway. Let's press on. Again I have no idea what's coming up. Okay, we've got a trancy lead sound here. No, it's not. What is it? Yeah, it's just a lead. Monophonic. Oh, hang on. Again, some of these multis are quite loud, so apologies if it's clipping. I need to remember to adjust the master volume which is saved with each multi as well so it's not enough just to set it once. Okay moving on. Nice. Monks and bells by the sound of it which is pretty typical omni sphere fair. <laughs> yeah yeah Beautiful, yeah. I'm wishing I had spent a little bit of time now mapping up these sliders to control the levels of all of the different parts, but we'll save that for another video. Today we'll just enjoy the sounds stepping onwards. Okay, another choir. 
Yeah, I, I remember now when I auditioned some of these sounds and favorited them uh, a couple of days ago, actually, some of these pad sounds and the choir sounds I thought were simply uh, stunning. Let's take a listen, see if I can do them justice. Oh, morphing to a different arrangement. <laughs> lovely, lovely. I'm beginning, wow, I'm beginning to understand why Omnisphere is so popular with TV and movie score soundtrack composers. Yeah, you've heard many of these kind of sounds before, I'm sure, in TV dramas. Yeah, beautiful. Another nice choir. Oh. Bells and choirs again, I told you. Instant soundtrack, I mean, wow. This has to be up there, one of the most beautiful sounding synths I've ever played. Let's go for a nice A flat again. Wow, a bit hot. Now this keyboard doesn't have aftertouch and I think a lot of these patches are going to respond to aftertouch so I've actually mapped up a knob here but I forgot to use it so if you see me twiddling this then uh, that's what I'm doing. I can also adjust the tempo. Everything is synchronized to the clock here in Omnisphere and I can adjust the tempo of that but it's something I haven't been doing so far. Okay let's press on. I think we're probably nearing the end of my list of favourites, but uh, if you're enjoying this, then I am, so let's press on. Whoa. Huh? There we go. <laughs> wow, yeah, another soundtrack here. In instant soundtrack. Instant movie drama. Yeah. You've got to play some of these quite tastefully, I think, to get the best out of them. Let's try something. Do that again. You can be quite sparse because the synthesizer is doing most of the work. Let's try the mod wheel. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, amazing. Wow. Yeah, just wonderful. Wonderful. Didn't see that coming. We need to adjust the gain just a bit. Yeah, wasn't sure how to play that one. Sorry about that. But I think that's a good as point as any to wrap this up. We've explored, I don't know, 10 or 20 of these so far. There's actually surprisingly few multis. We have about 13,000, something like that. Sorry, I haven't fact checked, but uh, many multiples of thousands of the patches that you layer into the multis. But the multis themselves, just a few hundred, I think. So... Uh, I'm not going to play any more because I don't want to spoil it for you should you decide to get this synthesizer yourself and explore the multis. I'm sure you will have a lot of fun, just like I have done, and I hope you enjoyed it. Wow, some truly astonishing sounds there, and I hope you enjoyed them as much as I did. I'll see you next time. Cheerio!